So, Mystic Mind Burn 1 YCS Rio. Amazing! <laughs> Local Dragon Lady here and ban list wish list time. Yeah, uh, Konami never did give us a estimated date for the new ban list, so um, I'm just gonna go on a limb here and make my wish list now. Um, I might as well let you all know that most of this wish list is courtesy of the husband because. Um, I'm still technically on my break from Yu-Gi-Oh, at least from the locals. I still play online from time to time, but the husband, he plays online on Nexus a lot. So he has more insight and what would need to go than I do. Although a bunch of cards on this list, um, is cards I've been wanting to go in previous lists. So yes. And uh, yeah, um, Mystic Mind. Um, <laughs> I have a few things to say on that. I, I just love the fact that Mystic Mind Burn, um, a deck that I have played competitively at one point, took a YCS. Yeah, so yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about that. But anyway, remember this is a wish list. Uh, it's not meant to be realistic, but uh, you never know. I mean, like some of the cards I've talked about before that I think need to go or need to make a comeback. So let's just jump right into this. Okay, for the ban list, first I have Kristan Needle Fibers. Sorry, little guy, but yeah, being limited one just doesn't mean anything. It generates too much advantage and it's easily usable to either spam Synchro on your turn or you can Synchro Summon during your opponent's turn. But Marge, that little guy hasn't done anything yet. Look at him, he's gonna do something and you know it's gonna be good. And it can also be used for the Scythe Lock, which I'm, I'm sure we're all too familiar with. And speaking of the Scythe Lock, we have Artifact Scythe. Uh, Duelists, all of us, like we've been pleading for the banning of this card in numerous formats. I've talked about this card in previous wish lists. I, come on, Konami, you, you just got to. You like, the time has come, especially with the current format with Branded and Despia decks. It's just able to turbo out this card even faster, so. Come on, Konami. You can do it. I know you can. Next is Ido, or Ido, the Supreme Magical Force. So, okay, this card's pretty old. It was released after my first retirement. So I was a little confused when Husband brought it up, but then I read what it does and I was all like, what the hell? <laughs> so the effect basically reads that the controller of this card cannot summon any monsters. Um, back then, that wasn't such a big deal, but with the trap card Branded Expulsion, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that you can lock your opponent out of the game. Like, it's it's basically Artifact Scythe on steroids. Uh, the trap card can allow you to summon the Supreme Magical Force to your opponent's side of the field, and um, unless they can find a way to get rid of this card, I they can't play. Um, even a tribute. Like, they can't summon anything, so... Yeah, this this one this one's definitely got to go before it does some real damage. Next up, uh, some favorites of the husbands: a uh, Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds and Harpy's Feather Storm. He he's been wanting these cards to go for the past few lists, and uh, I can see why. Uh, these cards work really well with a float float in the freeze. I can't pronounce them very well, but but yes, I mean they're not considered a top meta deck anymore, but they're still a decent rogue one. But these cards take advantage of both the type and the attribute, Wind and Winged Beasts. These cards either lock out your opponent or negate your opponent's monsters for a full turn. And in this format, one turn is all it really takes. So yeah, I agree with the husband. Um, yeah, I won't be sad if these cards were to go. Next I have is Anti-Spell Fragrance, another suggestion of the husband. And uh, yeah, I do agree with them. When it comes to all the floodgates we have in this game right now, I think this one's probably the most degenerate and unfun out of them all. And don't get me wrong, I still think the other traps, like they should be limited to one, but if any of them should get the axe, yeah, Anti-Spell Fragrance would be that. Mirror Jade the Ice Blade Dragon, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, husband came up with this one as well, but I, I was flirting with this car too. I know it's still kind of newish, but it really is toxic and it just... Yeah, I, I would like it to go as well. It's too easy to summon and getting rid of it via a kaiju still means its grave effects are still going to go off. Not to mention a Despia engine can still bring it back during your opponent's turn. I love my dragons, but damn, like, this one's really too much. Fairy Tale Snow. Oh, I knew it was a bad idea for Konami to bring this back, and I was right. It can be abused in numerous decks, but branded Despia, once again, is the culprit. Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Mystical Dragon. Now, I was confused by this one at first because it's mostly used in Dragon Link strategies, and while that deck is still quite strong, it's not taking any events or anything like that. Um, however, when used in the Punk Engine, okay, well, that just takes it to a whole new level. Excavating cards is a huge thing in this format because a lot of decks rely on grave effects, so Chaos Ruler just enables it, so I totally understand why Husband thinks this one should go. El Shadal Winda. At most, this card was considered a floodgate, which it still is. We're, we're, you know, we're used to those by now. But the problem now is with the tier elements, and Shadal cards combine well together with them. Uh, especially the end board with all the fusion monsters, with Winda being in the extra monster zone. Your only way out could be either a Dark Ruler no more, or tribute monsters like Ross Fear Mode or Lava Golem. So no, a kaiju won't work because, well, you, you can't put a kaiju in the extra monster zone. Last but not least, totally awesome. Yup. Everyone, everyone is calling out this car. Sparice is a ridiculous deck right now out of the gate and it has to be reined in fast. Not only is it an Omni Negate, but getting rid of it has no guarantee because Sparice can summon it right back to their field. So yeah, no wonder why this card is selling fast and expensive, but uh, if it gets banned, which it should, it totally should, and uh, sorry Dark Bribe, I know you love your frogs, but eh, this is starting to become a problem. <laughs> Okay, on to the limited list, and the number one, of course, I have to mention Mystic Mind. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, after the results of the YCS Rio, this should be banned, but man, I, I still love this card because I still consider it to be an answer to negate boards. It does the same thing, but I will agree this card should at least be hit down to one. I mean, it's not like it still can't be turboed out through other means. So, but I, I can tell everyone out there is crying for a full banning of this card, but the way I look at it, if it does get banned, a bunch of other cards have to go too, because, I mean, in response to a negate board, uh, we need more of those. So, Mystic Mind, for now, I think it's okay to one, but I, I, I understand everyone else's calls for it to be all right banned. Next I have is Emergency Teleport. Uh, the reason why this should go to one is because there are too many powerful level three or lower psychic cards that can easily get your combos going, especially with the punk engine. So it's, this is really just a consistency hit more than anything else. Um, two bucks and it only transports matter. Uh, well, uh... Another card for the consistency hit would be Tenyi Spirit Ashuna. Uh, this is probably the biggest and namely Tenyi Spirit for the Sword Soul engine. Uh, this card really helps Sword Soul get out its resources that it needs, so hitting it to one, um, yeah, I think it's fair. Next, I have Water Enchantress of the Temple and the Rite of Aramesir, and oh my goodness, the, this card. We have like 10 of these things. Husband just keeps pulling these stupid Rites of Aramesir and... We don't even want to play this engine, oh my goodness, but I list these two together because it really is a one or the other type of situation. If one of them gets limited, then the other can stay free. Uh, Adventure Token Engine is still incredibly strong and it needs a consistency hit. So one of these cards, come on Konami, one of them, just hit out to one. Another one I have is Branded Opening and... Uh, same reasoning, uh, consistency Branded is really really strong so hitting this the one i think will keep the consistency uh and the deck more balanced 
Um, yeah, like, like I said, like there, there's a lot of cards in this list. There's, there needs to be a purge. So come on, rent it opening to one. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Yes, yeah, another one of the branded Despia fusion monsters. Now, the first effect is nothing new. After all, anyone who plays Red Eyes or Odd Eyes can relate to the life point cost. Uh, multiple Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragons burns for every card effect, and the Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon uses life points as payment. While that effect alone is annoying, it's the second one that's the kicker. If your opponent controls a ritual or any monster from the extra deck, Blazing Dragon can be revived from the grave and resume its life point penalty. So yeah, I think having only one is fair. Sword Soul Emergence. Now, Sword Soul may not be as broken as Sprite or Terra Elements, but uninterrupted, it can put out some really degenerate monsters with some really powerful traps. So again, it's all about consistency. Just hit it to ones and it should bounce out just fine. Pot of Prosperity. Now, I promise you, I'm not saying this just because we only have one in our collection. Uh, Husband brought up a really good point when he recommended this card because this is a two turn format. Uh, going first or even second with the right cards can end the game and the Pot of Prosperity will enable those advantages further by allowing you to dig deeper into the deck and get the card you want. So yeah, I, th I think limiting this to one is reasonable. Next I have a Skill Drain and Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine. Now th this is another one of those uh, trade-off situations. If one of these cards were to be hit to one, then the other one can be free because these two work so well together. Now personally, I would lean more toward Skill Drain to one. Uh, but let's be real here, the only two decks that take advantage of Skill Drain is Elich or Blue Eyes. And <laughs> come on, what loser still plays Blue Eyes? <clears throat> Last but not least, let's have Blaster, Dragon Ruler of the Infernos, to one. I, I talked about this card in the last wish list and it's remain banned and I can't really figure out why. Uh, Tempest turned out to be okay. So I think this guy will be fine. So like, yeah, Konami, come on, like blaster to one. Like, what are you waiting for? Now I know some people have a semi-limited uh, list for their wish list, but me, bleh, nope. Uh, to me, semi-limited don't mean squat. So I am foregoing that section altogether. So let's move to what should be unlimited. So the first card I think should be unlimited is called by the grave and no i'm not letting this go i don't care what everyone says this game is to the point that you either have a negate board or a negate hand all of these free interruptions can be stuffed into the deck without having to summon anything and there are very few defenses cross out is fine but you're required to have the hand trap in your deck that you may not want so yes i understand that hand traps are needed to interrupt some of your opponent's combos but there are very few defenses against set hand traps, and I think there is no balance in this. So come on, call by the grave. Remember, it's not just for hand traps now. Like there, you can use it for other monsters in the grave. So come on, please, please. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but call by the grave, back to three. Finally, we have Pot of Desires. Everyone was perplexed when this card was hit on the last list. Every single reaction video I've seen to that ban list was Huh? Like really? Pod desires? No one can figure it out. And so far, I don't think anyone knows why I got hit to begin with. Come on, like bring it back to three. The, the cost to draw two cards to me is fair and it's risky. So it's not free to use. So come on, bring it back to three. I, nobody knows why it was hit to begin with. So anyway, that is my ban list wish list. What do you all think? Did I go too far? Uh, did I not go far enough? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what cards do you want to see get banned because this format is still pretty rough and I still think there needs to be a purge to bring balance to this game. So 
Yeah, so anyway, the Dragon Lady saying, remember to be a good sport, to play the game, not the fame, and thank you so much for watching, because I know my content has still been lackluster this summer, but I promise you, things should return closer to normal as fall rolls around. Thank you, bye-bye!